Hi everyone, my name is Steph, this is Kidlit Joy and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to review The Garden of Broken Things by Freya Blackwood. This is a 2024 picture book release from Freya Blackwood who is an Australian author and illustrator and this book is utterly stunning. It is such a gorgeous book. The synopsis says, One day, Curious Sadie follows a cat into the tangled vines behind the lonely house at number 9 Arden Street. Deep in the undergrowth, past all the twisted, rusted things, Sadie finds the cat sitting on the lap of a woman, bent with time and weariness. Sadie has found the garden of broken things. This is a beautiful book about curiosity, about understanding, and about acceptance and embracing the unknown. It is illustrated so wonderfully. Like Freya Blackwood illustrates a lot of my favourite uh, picture books by other authors. She just has such a wonderful drawing style. The way she uses colour to create mood and enhance the story in that way. So when it's dark or when things are representing memory and reflection to when things also become joyful and bright. I fell in love with the language in the book. It's so well written. It's so rich with tier two vocabulary and description and also just a love for the world around you like in this garden of broken things Sadie finds so many different little bits and pieces that can be used for imaginative play. I know I'm just gushing so much about this book because I it's one of those picture books where when you read it you get chills and then you kind of have to read it a couple of times to really understand the deeper meaning of it and I think when you read it you'll take away something Everyone will take away something just a little bit different from the story. It's one of those books where you go, okay, this is one of those stories that helps us to remember that there is magic and beauty in the world around us and sometimes in the most unlikely of places. I will leave some information about the book and the author down below if you would like to check it out. It was one of those books that I had seen but hadn't had a chance to read yet and it came into my collection and I was just so thrilled. I, yeah, as I said, I read it and then I had to read it again immediately and just let some of it sink in. Freya Blackwood is easily an auto by author illustrator for me because her work always always evokes deep feelings and emotions from me when I read her books so expect to see more in the future is all I can say. All the links will be down below if you have read The Garden of Broken Things or you have other titles that you would be interested in recommending that sounds similar to this one feel free to leave it down below. Feel free to leave your favorite emoji that represents a garden or a natural environment down below. Otherwise I hope that wherever you are in the world you're staying safe and healthy and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.